I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and for some people, the perfect day is going to bed with a dream and waking up with a purpose. For other people, particularly smartphone enthusiasts, the perfect day could be the Apple iPhone 5. Our review unit's in the house. Let's unbox the Apple iPhone 5. Five Alive, it's finally here. After years of covering this thing as a rumor, the Apple iPhone 5 is in the house. This is the 32 gigabyte version. This is the black version as well. Announced a few weeks ago at Apple's event, this thing is available now as of today at retail stores. And if you pre-ordered it, most of the pre-orders are coming in today. If you pre-order it starting today though, it's on a two to three week wait depending on where you look to buy it. Packing a dual core one gigahertz Apple A6 CPU. This thing has a gigabyte of RAM. They've upped the display to four inches. Still a retina display with 326 PPI. And then you've got an eight megapixel camera that's improved as well. And out of the box, you get the iPhone 5 ear pods with a remote mic lightning to USB cable, which as you may know, they changed around the port. It's a lightning port now and there are some minor design changes as well. Special thanks to Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game. When you go into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working with your iPhone 5. They'll help you set up your email, your web, your contacts, your settings, all that stuff. So when you walk out the door, you're good to go at Best Buy Mobile. Let's open this thing up now. We're like, what are you waiting for, Aaron? Open this thing up. I'm gonna take the plastic off so you can see in the box. iPhone 5, Apple, iPhone 5, Apple. And of course, down there, all the barcodes that you need. So this is what it looks like out of the gate. There is the Apple iPhone 5. Noticeably taller, it feels like a TV remote. It actually feels a little bit odd in the hand, but that's because for the past two years, we've been carrying some variant of the 4. The 4, the 4S with the exact same design. Looks a little funky. It's definitely different. This is the first time I've had any hands-on with this device myself. And I can tell you it's a little bit strange to hold this in the hand. It literally is just like they took an iPhone and stretched it up. It's an odd feeling. So front-facing camera there, HD camera for FaceTime. And like I said, 8 megapixel camera and then the metal on the back. It's noticeably lighter as well. It feels like, it honestly feels like a device where the battery isn't installed yet. And, uh, you know, it's noticeably lighter. Actually, it's surprisingly light. And then you've got the power button up here at the top. Typical stuff over here, volume rocker on the left side with your switch to flip between silent or vibrate. And then down here at the bottom... You're like, go ahead and remove the stickers. I'm going to take these suckers off. And one of the biggest things that's surfacing on news websites today is talking about the metal back that there are already scratches on some devices out of the gate. Doesn't look to be the case on this one. It looks fine, uh, but I've taken an up close and personal look once we finish the unboxing. So I'll take the stickers off, and I can't get over a couple things. One, surprisingly light. Two, it feels weird in the hand because it literally feels like they just stretched an iPhone 4S. And then, of course, new design stuff down here at the bottom. Lightning port down at the bottom, speaker grills, and then you've got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the bottom now. But construction, fantastic, minus the scratch issues that some people are reporting to have. It feels fantastic in the hand, has a nice look and feel to it, feels like a premium device. Let's see how many times I can say feel in a sentence. Feel, feel, feel. And then out of the gate, designed by Apple in California, typical stuff here. Again, very much an evolutionary update in a lot of ways, despite the fact that it packs a dual core processor. Well, hello there. Well, hello there, Apple stickers and then the iPhone info. It's just nice to get this thing in. I've been waiting for it all morning so I can do the unboxing for you guys. And, of course, the ear pods as well. Apple's new earbuds, we'll take a look at those along with the typical uh, Apple AC adapter module and then the lightning cable down here in the box. Folded up a little bit differently, as you can see. Actually, surprisingly, uh, folded up well. I'm going to go ahead and remove this so you can see what the lightning port looks like here. And then you've got, bam. Lightning, very small in comparison. Let me get that focused in so you can take a look here. Get these drift issues to stop. Take a look at the lightning port there. Pretty impressive all around. Uh, very, very small, and it'll go in either way into the unit and plugs in just like that. So quick and easy to plug in, and it is powering up now. I guess it detected that I plugged that in, and the Apple logo is starting up. Then you have this, Apple's EarPods. We'll take a look at these as well. Looks like they're wrapped in some plastic. While that's booting up, let's do this. Now let's take a look at these because they look pretty unique. One of my biggest pet peeves about iPhones, the earbuds. Earbuds have not been great. I have very odd ears uh, and I usually get the ones that will do that will go in ear. And with this one, let's see, left. And I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to put it in. Uh, it feels a little better in the ear, a little bit easier to put in. But those will be put to the test in the full review, so stay tuned uh, for that. Still nice to see an accessory that Apple, I guess, would consider a premium accessory, quote unquote. Uh, included in the box for the same price. So for the same price, 200 bucks, you get earpods. That's pretty nice. A little bit bigger box as well. So let's take a look at the device and get this thing configured and ready to go. Welcome, welcome, thank you. Country, region, U.S. Display is still beautiful. Four-inch display. It is noticeably larger, but again, I can't get over the fact that uh, it just feels like they stretched 
the iPhone. And then United States is our region. Let's go ahead and use the cellular connection once we get it up and running. Let's see here. And we'll activate that and see how long it takes. Could not activate. Let's try again over cellular. You know what? It may take some time. Actually, it's not showing Verizon either. Uh, and it looks like I can't bring down my notifications area. Try again over cellular. Let's see if we can get this to work. It may take a few minutes. I'm going to take you at your word, Apple. And we'll take a look at the design as well while it's doing that. Micro or nano SIM card slot, I should say, over there on the right hand side. And then again, nice look and feel. I love the two tone here that they're doing with the metal on the back and then the, uh, the kind of glossy black up top and up in the bottom and of course the typical glossy stuff on the front. Surprisingly lightweight, that's the thing I can't get over. It feels just ever so slightly heavier than the Galaxy S3 or the One X and that's pretty uh, pretty impressive by all counts. So location services, we'll go ahead and enable those. We'll go ahead and set up as a new iPhone and we'll skip this step for now. And yeah, let's skip that. I don't know why it's taking its sweet time. Let's see what's going on here. I'm getting a nice little banner thing going across this. Skip this step. See if it'll let me. Man, eh, sign in with an Apple. Looks like it's frozen up. Nice. Impressive. All the Android fans are like, ha ha ha, Apple sucks. iPhone 5, losers. Hoo ha. And terms and conditions, of course, we agree to those as always. Yeah, we're going to use Siri. Why not? No, don't send diagnostics. Thank you very much. Start using the iPhone. And the first thing you'll notice is, well, there's a, uh, a panel missing now because the touch screen or the touch input's been directly integrated into the display. So you got that here out of the gate. Weather would like to use current location and we'll wait for it to kick over under Verizon's 4G LTE. But otherwise, it looks very much like a typical iPhone. iOS 6 pre-installed out of the gate on this thing. Got your messages here, and you can see the new blue banners that people either love or hate right there. And then we'll go over here and take a look at Passbook as well. Simplest way to get all your passes in one place, boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons. I'll go to the App Store and take a look at what comes in the Passbook stuff out of the gate. And let's see if it'll load up. It looks like it's still kind of configuring the wireless network connection, so we may have to go back to that a little bit later. Otherwise, Apple's version of Maps, which has been uh, much ballyhooed for either good purposes or bad purposes in the press lately for their Maps images, is pre-installed on this device as well. And then you get camera, of course, 8 megapixel camera with a new look and feel here. Camera would like to use current location. We've got some options here, panorama, and then, of course, auto, and then flipping it to front-facing with a bigger button down here at the bottom, along with the typical lock screen that we saw with the cam ability to flip to access the camera. Much more coverage to come on the Apple iPhone 5 on PhoneDog.com, so keep it locked on the site. We've got a lot of exciting content, dogfights and more. Do you want to see this thing dogfought, dogfought, dogfighted against a Samsung Galaxy S3 or an HTC One X? We're going to do it, so stay tuned for that next week along with the full review. Keep it locked on the site. Be sure to enter our greatest tech giveaway ever too at facebook.com slash phone dog. Hit me up on Twitter as well, phone dog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. And if you got this, let me know what you think of your new iPhone. If you held off for an Android or a Windows phone device, tell me why you did. Phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend. And if you got an iPhone, enjoy it. And as always, we'll see you next time. And I'll see you back next week for some exciting dog fights on the iPhone 5.